thank you all for the uh, wonderful applause. Um, my teammate, Anthony At Atkinson, and I'm Anthony Buckets Blakes, and we're very delighted to be here, actually, for the second time in a row. Um, thank you, <laughs> um, you know, the Globetrotters are known as ambassadors of goodwill, and Bill Bones mentioned that earlier. And what we do is strive to bring everybody together using a basketball as a bridge. This year, excuse me, I'm a little winded, flew all the way from Phoenix uh, yesterday. <laughs> um, what we try and do is use the basketball as a bridge and bring people together, cultures together. You know, we've been around since 1926. This is our 88th consecutive season. And this year, we had the wonderful opportunity to partner with the National Campaign to Stop Violence and put together a program called the ABCs of Bullying Prevention. And we had a chance to present that to about 450 schools from December 26 to, uh, to late April of this year. So it's been a great pleasure of mine to have the opportunity to speak to kids um, all over, not only the United States, but on our North American tour, we also presented the ABCs of Bullying, uh, uh, the ABCs of Bullying Prevention to uh, schools in Canada as well. So it's a great opportunity to be here and to get the message across. You know that bullying is a, a monumental epidemic among school-aged children, and we want to make sure that we leave them a positive message so they can all learn to respect each other and treat each other with kindness. Um, I like to talk a lot, and my teammate knows that, so I'm going to let him speak a little bit as well. But thank you all for having me. It's always a pleasure to be a part of something this huge. And kids, we love what you're doing out there. Keep taking care of each other and respecting others. Uh, it's going to be hard to follow that because he pretty much said everything right there. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to come up here and I'm just tell you what's on my heart. And uh, I actually experienced bullying when I was little. And I went through it. And how I handled it was I told the right people. But I didn't let what the bully did to me, let it weigh me down and let it hold me back from doing anything I want to do in life. I became his friend. And we're still friends to this day, actually. I treated him with kindness. I, you know, I didn't go back and retaliate or do anything like that. I treated him with kindness. And what happened is, you know, what I did in my life actually showed him, you know, I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. And I think that's my testimony in telling him, you know, still to this day when I see him, when he comes around the neighborhood, you know, he thanks me. He thanks me for what I did, how I reacted. And, you know, I don't know everybody's story here, and I don't know what everybody went through, but in, all, in our own little way, you know, we're all equal. We're all the same. We all have feelings. We all were raised differently, but in the end of the day, we all have feelings and we all have a heart. And sometimes our heart is broken by certain people. My thing is that don't let what people do to you hold you down. Don't let what people do to you, because everybody's going to have an opinion of you. But my, one thing my dad tells me, because he's a minister, he tells me, don't accept the opinion of average people, average people, because you are not average. You were made to be special. You were made for a reason. And we're out here, you know, we're on this road eight months out of the year, going to all these schools, preaching to these kids about bullying and how to handle bullying. It's different when it comes to your own front door and when your kid goes through it or when you are going through it. I could tell you and sit up here all day and say, oh, don't do that, don't handle it like that. But when it comes to you, it's different. But my whole thing is don't let it, don't let the bullying defeat you. Beat the bully in a good way, in a positive way. <laughs> Cause I know <laughs> Cause if one thing I know, I know, you know, some kids would take that the wrong way and some grown ups would too. <laughs> because I have a kid at home and if somebody does something to my kid, I know I feel a certain way. But at the end of the day, Let's show love for one another. Let's treat each other with kindness. Thank you guys for having us so much. We're happy to be here. Um, and I really appreciate what my teammates said, too. But we just want to thank you guys again for having us. And uh, you know the Globetrotters are always around. You guys can go to our website, harlemglobetrotters.com, and see all the things we're doing all over the world, not just here in the United States, as well as the many programs that we have. So thanks once again for having us, and you guys have a great rest of your day.